too close to Can you ready for the, the, the nice folks on the cash deal? Are they here? Yeah. Yeah, I might go over some stuff with them. Pretty hit. Sure. Why not? I'm going to bring them in. I said bring them in. Hi guys. Here. At least have a seat and get you all bugged up. Good to have a seat. Mm -hmm. I've got to go over some legal issues with you. Sure. So basically, I know that they told you about the search plan, but I just got to show you what it covers. Sure. So the search plan, um, it's the same one I used to use when I was at Mercedes and BMW. Uh, Mercedes and BMW with certified cars, and that, they could do it up to four years or 50,000 miles. Right. Anytime past that point, we, there would be no certification, so this is the search plan that I offer. Okay. They've been around forever. They're the closest to like a new car warranty. Because that, that not only does it just cover your basic, you know, powertrain transmission, it also goes all the way over to the electronics of it. All the cars now, 195 computers. Right. Everything's ran off the computer. Even when you shift the gear, it's just because the computer tells it to shift. So this covers the enhanced cooling system, enhanced cooling system, which is all the electronic parts that are in there. It also goes as far as covering the uh, advanced uh, power, advanced uh, technology. So that's going to be the mother computer, all the relays on the other part. On top of your normal uh, heating and air conditioning system, it covers the hardware, uh, interior hardware and exterior hardware. These are items that are covered. And also the steering, the suspension, uh, all the, all the uh, moving parts in there, including the electronics. So, so that's what's covered under the service plan. And it's good in, in all 50 states in Canada. You can take it to any certified garage. You don't have to take it to a specific garage. So if you're traveling you know, in Missouri, you go to go buy the garage there, take it there. They call them directly, they pay them directly, you only have a hundred dollar deductible. Right. Okay. And that service plan is thirty five ninety five. Please oh sorry. On this one it's thirty nine ninety five because it's over a hundred thousand miles. So it gives you three years or thirty six thousand miles for today's date. Right. So if anything that's gonna go wrong over a hundred thousand miles, you're covered. So if anything was going to be wrong with the car, you're going to find out within the next three years, 36,000 miles. Right. Um, to add that on there, I'll just have to show it to you. This is what your out the door would be. Where's it at? I just had it. Right here. That was somebody else. Yeah, this is it right there. Yeah, they should have shown me that before. Yeah. I understand, but we're, we're, we're not interested in it. Okay. But, yeah. So now, is there a reason why you're not interested? Cause yeah, because I've done it before and, and, and didn't backfire on me and, and have never found the value uh, to be quite right. So, so which one's backfire? Like, oh, I don't remember. I mean, it's, it's yeah. from yeah. Like, you know, the past 20 years. Yeah, so. this, that, that's what always fills me because I know a lot of places use, you know, I don't sell nothing but the best. Oh, no, I've, I've got this on a new GMC. I bought full coverage and then gone in and they're like, no, that's not what it is. So I, I, I just prefer yeah. not to. I mean, in all the cars that I've owned, the ones that I've paid for extra coverage on have actually cost me more than, than, than you know, just operating the cars. Which is weird, too, because, you know, that's still the ones that are selling you that, you know, they call those, they call them wraps, okay? Right. Yeah. And the wrap is the worst thing because they, they figure it's a new car, right? So they, they, they're going to count on that three year, 36,000 mile brand new warranty. Right. The wrap will cover everything other than the engine and transmission. Right. And that's 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 a, sh that's a shame yeah. because I have that option too. I will not sell that. 
Because they do it because it makes them more money. Yeah. I don't, I look at it as, it, it, we've been in business for 19 years. And even when I was at Mercedes and BMW, our whole philosophy was customer retention, okay? So if I have a client that has an issue, and, and, and I don't sell them something that's going to cover them, guess what happens? I'm not going to have a customer back. And they're going to tell 15 people about their experience. Yeah. So that's the difference between, you know, because I could sell the same plan they sold, make a ton of money off of it, but to me, in, in the long run, you're actually losing money because you lose credibility right. and you lose future business. Yeah. So we, we get a lot of repeat business. Yeah. So I'm going to let you hold on to this. So sure. you, you know, if you change your mind in the next two days, okay. it's easy. It's something you can, you can research it, check it out. Okay. It goes all the way that. from page one to page 19. Okay. If, 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 it would go to page 20 if you if it had under 100,000 miles. Okay. 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 But, but, but you still get the roadside assistance. You still get. Uh, a real car reimbursement, all that stuff. Okay. It's just you won't get the page 20 part. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just have you start signing some things. Sure. These are the documents. So the state of Washington gives us several forms. They want to make sure they've gotten to the point where they want to make sure we offer everybody a search plan because they found that people weren't being offered okay. search plans. Yeah. So there's a lot of people who can't afford to fix a car once it breaks down. So then they're paying on a car that they can't fix. So the service plans have to be offered, and so they have several forms that you'll have to sign. Okay. So like this one right here says, client declining to purchase service plan. It says, waiver and warranty not valid if service contract is purchased. So if you had purchased one, you wouldn't be signing this at all. Okay. So all this is doing, it says you declined it, and these are things, it's just like on the buyer's guide, it tells you these are things that can go wrong with any car that we want to use. And if you had service plan, the majority of these things would be covered. Just need to initial all the way down, okay. decline to do so, initial all the way down, and sign right there. Okay. And then I'll get you copies of everything. Sure. I see so late lately. I hate it when it's dark like this. I always feel like it's like 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. I, I feel like I should be a pair and hibernate. <laughs> Financing. That's condition of finance. If you were financing the car, you're not doing that, so you don't have to worry about it. 
And this is the last sheet, uh, the last page that, uh, that the, the state wants you to sign. Um, it goes a little bit more into the issue waiver warranty. Because if you had to go through the plan, there would be, uh, they, we would have some obligations. So okay. there would be no negotiating the waiver warranty. You wouldn't be signing this or the other sheet either. So. I, just got to, I, I have to explain everything to you, and if, I, if it sounds redundant, it's just no, no problem. I'm supposed to do it. It's required. The state of Washington is very consumer protective, and it's uh, yeah. everything has to be transparent. At least that the, that's what they're supposed to do. So we make sure we do it. That's so why we stay out of trouble. You know, we can never have an issue with the state. I hear some horror stories from people, though. Yeah. Today is in January. Today is the 24th. Yeah. So this is a key. Okay, so basically all this is is the same thing that you signed, except it goes in a little bit more detail that there's no warranty or merchantability or you're not going to get buy a service plan. Just need you to print your sign your name here, print your name down there. And that was the only one I have a carbon copy. Everything else you get a photocopy of. Okay. And then I put all your stuff in this envelope right here. I'll put it in a small envelope. You can't get it out of it. Great. That, used to, that was my pet peeve when I got the car business. They always give you an envelope that you couldn't get the paperwork out. Because once you did, you couldn't put it back in. Right. You just drive it in there. And then, how can I see it, Russ? Google Maps. Google Maps. I came to see a car at um, Cars R Us because he was really interested in a Mustang and they had one that, that photo really well, but we got here it was not at all. Yeah, it happens a lot. Yeah. We get a lot of people because a lot of the, these places down here only carry like, you know, cars that are 10 grand or less, yeah. that are like beat up, have high mileage. I have cars anywhere from 10,000 up to 100,000, and we get a lot of low mile cars too. Uh, but we, because we, me and the owner both came for, from Mercedes and BMW, and our buyer, he knows how to buy right, the right cars. Yeah. It's, we, this is more of an like a franchise store than it is as, a, as an independent store. Yeah. So this right here is for our office upstairs to make sure I went over the paperwork with it. Right. And there's no trade I put it in. And then how you heard about it, so I just need an initial and signing date. Sure. They just want to make sure that we went over the paperwork and then I explained the, uh, how I've been explaining it to you. And then they uh, wanted to know how people heard about us because they want to know where to put the money at for advertising. I mean, we actually have a pretty good saturation on uh, online. It's funny because I get phone calls from people looking for other dealerships because they go on Google and they search the dealership they're looking for and our number pops up. Yeah. And someone will call me up. I go, I don't think you're looking for a dealership. I go, what's the new dealership you're looking for? Lexus of Bellevue? I go, yeah, if you're not Lexus of Bellevue. <laughs> I go, but I do have a Lexus here if you want to buy one. They go, we're just looking for a search department. I said, okay. Yeah. But it's kind of funny how that happens. I'm like, well, how did that even happen? Yeah. And you think they would look at the number and see that it was a 253 number, not a... Uh, you know, four, four, you know, like, you know, four, two, five, where yeah. from, so. And your salesperson was Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. Ruby Tuesday. Always oh, do a hard time to this back when I say that. <laughs> so this right here is what they call the purchase order. So you sign that one sheet. Yeah. This is all the same numbers. This is the price of the car. There's your sales tax. 
there's an estimate of licensing. We only can estimate the licensing right. because we don't know what it's going to be. It, every place is different. So if it's more, you'll end up, when we call you, you'll just have to pay the difference. If it's less, we'll send you a check. You guys will send a check, okay. And then you live, where do you live at? Hey, okay, so you're automatically just saying when they call you, say mail them to me, verify your address, they'll mail them to you. Okay. Okay, this way, there's no reason to make it come back. Yeah. Um, this is the amount that you're going to give me, you're giving me cash cash? Like cold cash. Yeah. Okay, so I want to make sure. Yeah. Yes, because they said that I'm going. You sure it's not like a credit card or something? <laughs> so this is this, so you're going to give me sixteen thousand twenty dollars. You're going to have to give me some change back. I don't have. I'll have to uh, probably email you the change. Oh, yeah. I don't have a cash register. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and uh, sign here and sign here. Yeah, I wish I had a cash register, but yeah, we don't do too many cash deals. I had a guy. I was so mad. He came, he came in, and it was too late to send him to the bank. He bought a forty thousand dollar car. Literally paid me once, five, and ten. And I had it counted six times, six times. And I wasn't happy because I couldn't send him to the bank. The bank wasn't open. It was a Sunday, and I counted it six times. It took me two hours because I had to make sure. And then when they when they put him in the bank, the office manager was a hundred dollars shy. I go. It can't be. But guess who has to pay for it? I yeah. So this right here is the back of this. City of Washington's Consumer Protection State. Your rights as a consumer, if there's anything wrong with the paperwork, you go through the City of Washington through arbitration. Right. Right. And then this right here, there's nothing being added to the car. This, this is more like for new car stores where they have like a parts department. And they can sell you like wheels and TVs and things. We don't have that, so there's nothing being added to the car or something like that. But that car still has to be signed. It's part of the paperwork to see. It has your sorrow. And this is the odometer statement. This is the miles that are on the car as of now. I have somebody run out and look for me before I print the paperwork. So this right here is the miles on the car. There's the insurance right there. And then this right here is basically allows me to transfer the car from us to you, sign there and there. That's correct. And then licensing. And then this right here, even I don't have to see your your, your uh, insurance card. You just have to tell me you have insurance. Okay. Because it protects me. Because state of Washington you're required to have it. Right. If you sign that you have it, then that's on you. I know you do, but I, I, it's just for our protection. So this right here is another form, so I can transfer the card to your name. Just need to sign that card. Then I'm going to give you, uh, uh, these are duplicate forms. These are what I assume is to get your license and put in your name. So you're going to be the license registered and the legal owner. So I just need you to make sure your name is spelled correctly and your address is spelled correctly. Sure. And so here is your name address up here, and, and there's your name and your address, and then these are your duplicates. So this is right on this one, it's right on that one. Okay. Okay. This is your sign there and here. And then this right here. It's going to be your copy of what you just signed. This is your temporary registration. Okay. So I had to put the temporary plate on the car. Okay. So that's right on the car, and then you're going to have this temporary registration. It'll take two to three weeks. We usually get the plates in. You'll get a phone call. Okay. And just as we say, no, I'm telling you. Okay. Um, just sign this. Put this to the side. You want this in your glove box so you can get pulled over. This is what you show the police officer. Okay. okay. And then just keep that over there. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be something you want to put in the glove box right. with a copy of your insurance card. So this right here is just the last form. So the state requires us to handwrite out the fact that okay. you're choosing not to get a warranty because what they say, they're weird. They go, because everything's printed out, people may miss the fact that they're not getting it. So they make us write it out in blue, and it's easy to just print and sign it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, 
overkill sometimes. When I first started doing this 30 years ago, you had an average of seven pieces of paper. Now you have yeah. an average of 25 pieces of paper. So now you get to make finance. Now there's only financing and trading in a car. And then, then they do buy search finance all that stuff. Now I'm talking about 40 cent pieces of paper. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Here's your copy of the awesome. car facts. I give everybody a copy. That. I see the sign that I gave you a copy. Yeah. Right here. And then I'm going to make your photocopies copies and you're done. Not too bad. No, you guys are great. So what did you have over there when you went over there? Um, I had the Pollo Sato. He had, what you have to? I had the steak ranchero. Yeah, so I like their street tacos over there. Really good. So you can get this really, actually, reasonably priced. So I always go with the chicken because chicken is always easy. Yeah. Because I never, cause the steaks is good, but sometimes it's over, it's sometimes tough. Mm. So I go with the chicken, and you get four of them for six dollars. That's a pretty darn good deal, and it tastes so good. Yeah. And four for six dollars. Yeah. That is good. That's a good deal, and they're, and it's really. It's, and they and they make it. They have you know they have all the cilantro, everything scratch, right? So I go over there for six bucks and get four of those, and I'm stuck for the rest of the day. But what's good about it? There's no cheese on it. Yeah. There's no, you know, none of that. You know, with sour cream. Yeah. So and you got no gluten. No, yeah, yeah, no yeah. 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 So it's good. I mean, yeah. I think it's a, It's actually. I I uh, I, I, you know, I I the where else can you go? Eat at six for six bucks nowadays. Yeah. Can't go to I, I hate McDonald's. I should. I can't. Yeah, I can't. I just if I'm gonna eat a hamburger, I'm gonna go eat raw. Right. Right. I cannot. I, I was forced to eat McDonald's one time on the way back home from building a car or somebody. I felt like crap for hours. Yeah. That goes in the glove box yeah. by itself. And I can put that in you know, That'd be great. And this way you can just look at it. And just, you know, a couple of days when you decide you want to do it, it's not a big deal. I can always backdate it. Can I ask you a favor? Um, yeah. Because, um, so Ruby took a, a copy of my insurance card. Yeah. Do you need a chance I could get that so he, so it's in the car and then I can keep mine? Yeah, yeah. Just have, great. I just have Ruby print it for you. Okay. Because you, you sent it to her, right? She, she took a photocopy oh, of she it did. somewhere. Yeah, when they needed the test drive. Oh, so, she did? Yeah, okay. So, so, so well, maybe it's in the deal. Let me look. If it is, let's make a copy of it for you right now. Cool. She, she put it here. Then I can just make a copy. Yes. Because you know, so you don't have it in there, when you pull over. Exactly. And that's what I was saying. I was like, no, do I want to be pulling over with him and the cops like, what's this guy doing? You know? So yeah, it's like, like, but you're not going to get pulled over. You're not, well, not now. Yeah. Now you have to be sure you don't have to worry about it. You know? You're not going to worry about it when you don't have any insurance. There you go. There, there, there's that, and then I'm just gonna write on here real quick. I'm gonna put your your, your paperwork in here. Okay. I think this is my paperwork right here. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, this is my paperwork. Yep, this is my paperwork. Yeah, you're already uploaded mine on that. Yeah. Put this over here. So I'm gonna lose it. Okay. So my name is Kenneth Rochelle R A C H A L. Right. If you add Gmail to that, that's my email. Uh, gmail.com and then um, if you a text is always the best you need to hold me 253-380-1468 so basically you can text me and say hey kid I decided I want to do the search plan okay. and then what I can do is I can do it all I'll FedEx it to you I just sign it send it back and then I'll, I'll just email you your copies Okay. And then you can just, we can just do it over the phone, you can pay for it over the phone, or just write me a check, and then just put a check in with the return envelope I give you. Okay. Just we don't have to drive all the way back out here. Right. Okay? All right. That's it. Thank you so much. You guys have a great evening, and I think, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, thank you. So I don't get, I get late, I get tired. I was, I was like, what's going to happen? It's like, this, this, this is really a good little shit. They didn't have <laughs> We got three. Yeah. So this one has. I count fast. This one has four in it. And one of these has six and one of them has five. I'll just get it real quick. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
should be two stacks of six. That's that's sixteen. So you have two sixes. That's twelve. No, no, I'm, I'm just oh, looking at. Okay. It. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought, no, no, I'm just trying to look at the actual bottom line number, so I know your change. Okay. So I owe you uh, like three dollars and some change. I think. Yeah, sorry. So, um, well, we'll end up knowing it to you. Okay. I, I have to be, they're going to want me to be okay. precise. Right. So let me write you the receipt, though. Okay, okay cool. So, so we've got 14, 25, um, 14, 000, 25. This is my brain, it's 16,000. Thank 
Thank you. I don't know what I was doing. My fat fingers. Okay, so today is the 24th. 23. And we're going to make it drop all the stuff. Pretty self explanatory. Yeah. Okay. I think it's very thorough. I, I have to, I try to yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. This way you got yours and thank you very kindly. Yeah, thank you. And, and then I think if you don't mind, we would really like to get a picture of at least one of you guys by the car. Oh, okay. sure, yeah, for sure. Appreciate you guys. And yeah. if you don't mind giving her a good review. We, oh, of course. She's awesome. great. She really is awesome. Yeah, I mean, she is awesome. She, she was our lot girl for yeah, over a year now, and she worked really hard. So, And I told her, you know, you know, once you got cells, just be yourself. You'll do good. And she's been doing good. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, guys. Okay. 